Okay guys, we are back with another declutter. Don't mind my hair covered leggings in the frame. But today we are going to be decluttering my blush and bronzers. So I figured why not let's start with blush because I have a lot more of them. Let's just jump right into it because it's, it's a mess. So I'm gonna start at the top. I have this Morphe blush trio. Looks like this, very, very pretty. I love this, we're keeping this. I have two sleek blush trios. This one is in the shade Flame. This one's really, really pretty. I don't have anything like this, so I'm gonna keep this one. And this one is in Take a Cheeky Peek. Looks like this. I don't use this one enough, so I think actually I might get rid of this one. And sorry if you can see me in the viewfind, or like the tripod camera, because I'm looking like a mess. So we're gonna get rid of this one. I have three Tarte blushes. This is like a little um, palette. This is the Tarte Double Duty Make Every Moment Count palette. Looks like this. I love all of these shades. The only thing with the Tarte blushes is they kick up a lot of powder, but they're really nice and they smell good. So we're gonna keep that. And then I have two minis. This is in Party and Feisty. This is what Feisty looks like. Really, really pretty, keeping that. Tarte blushes are one of my favorite. And then this one is Party. We're keeping those. And then I have three Physician Formula blushes. This is the Physician Formula Blush in Soft Rose. This is their multicolored custom blush. I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't use it enough. Looks like that. There's like an indent because something dug into it. So we're just going to get rid of that. And then I have two of the Butter blushes. This one is in shade Plum Rose. This one's really, really pretty. I love the Butter blushes from Physician's Formula. And this one is in shade Natural Glow. They have like a really nice sheen to them and they smell like all the other butter products. And then I have four from Amuse Cosmetics. This is in the shade Satin Sheets. I've never used this and it's not necessarily a shade. I mean, I already have all these, sh these this shade in many other blushes, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I have these two. They don't have shade names, they have mirrors on the back, but this is like a peachy one. I'm gonna keep this one just because I really do like it. And this one's like a mauve toned one. We're gonna keep that one. And then I have this one, which is in a really bright shade. I don't ever wear. This is in Ruby Cheers. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And I do wanna state, because I've had people ask, when I get rid of stuff, if it's outdated, I throw it away. And if it's not, I will give it to friends and family. This is a NYX Sweet Cheeks blush palette. We got this, or I got this in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have only used a few shades out of here, but it's really, really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this. And then I have three Wet n Wild Baked Blushes. Okay, so these were in my highlighter declutter, if you've seen that video. If not, I will link it down below, but I don't necessarily use these as blushes. I mainly use these as highlighters, but some of these are a little darker, like this one, and they're very shimmery, so I figured why not try them as blushes, because I mean, that's what they're made for. So I'm just giving them a try as blushes. So I'm keeping all of these. And if they don't work out as blushes, I'll keep them as highlighters like they were before. And then I have these two Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Ombre highlighters. This one is in In a Purple Haze. And this one is in The Princess Daiquiris. I don't ever use these. I'm just gonna get rid of them. I have this Laura Geller blush in Tropic Hues. Very, very pretty shade, love this. If you can't tell, I have a theme with my blushes. This is a Note Cosmetics blush in 005 Desert Rose. Looks like this, very pretty shade, keeping that. This is a pretty vulgar blush in Make Them Blush, Hush Blush. It looks like that. This is one of my favorite shades. I love this blush, keeping that. I have two Milani blushes, baked blushes. This one is in number two, Rose Dior. Looks like that, keeping this one. I just recently got this one. And this is in number 11, Bella Rose. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Again, this is just that really bright pink shade. I don't ever wear. I have a Kat Von D Shade and Light Blush Trio, or Blush Duo in Hansel and Gretel. I don't ever use this. It's got two different shades on it. And then you can mix them together. It's really light. I just don't ever use it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I have two The Balm blushes. I love both of these. This one is in Cabana Boy my favorite. And then I have Hot Mama. Again, this is like a brighter bra wash, but it's shimmery and really, really pretty. Keeping that. And then I have this L'Oreal Paradise blush in 190 Bashful. Um, just recently got this. 
it is very pretty. I'm just gonna keep this to try out a little more. This is the Galactic Skin Glow Moonlight Duo. It's a cream, I don't ever use it. I'm gonna give this away. I know someone who would really love this. This is an Avon Blush Duo in neut Neutral Duo. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't ever use it. And then I have this little Z palette with all my single blushes. I'm gonna be keeping all of these, but I will go through them. This is a Jordana blush in number 18, Touch of Pink. These two are Ofra blushes. This one is in Chameleon. This one is in Red, Red Desert. I don't know the shade name for this one, but this is a Duce blush. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Natural Glow. And then this is a Lottie London Blush Crush in Zane. So we're keeping all of those. So that's not bad. We're getting rid of all of these and keeping all of these. So we're getting rid of 10 blushes. So that's not bad at all. Okay, and these are all my bronzers. Um, I can tell you right off the bat, I don't have very many and I probably am going to be keeping a lot of these. We'll start right here because you're probably like, what the heck, why is it just a single pan bronzer? This is a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the deep, medium deep shade. It came in, if you noticed, I had a single Physician Formula blush as well. It came in like their little, um, like, um, quad palette thing with like the perfume and stuff. I depotted all of them. I don't have another Z palette to put this in, so I'm currently in the process of getting Z palettes, but I'm keeping this because I really do like it. And on that same note, we're keeping this Physician Formula Butter Blush or butter bronzer and light bronzer. It's almost gone. I'm really trying to use this up, but I love this bronzer. It is my one of my favorites. Another one I know for a fact I'm keeping is the Essence Sub Club, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I have mine in O2 Sunny. Very, very pretty. It smells really good too, and it's not too dark for my skin. I love this. And then one I'm keeping as well is the Pretty Vulgar. Bronze B Bronze Mannequin. I just recently got this in a boxy charm and I have yet to use it, so I'm gonna keep this to try it out somewhere. And then I'm keeping my Hula Benefit bronzer. I just have a mini. Uh, I'm almost like I'm so close to hitting pan on this. I just want to keep it and use it up. Another one I know for a fact I'm keeping is the Glamour Doll XOXO Lisa Frank. This is like a um, collector's one I'm keeping just because it's Lisa Frank and. The shade is pretty good for my skin. It blends really nicely and everything, but I really love the packaging mainly. And then, oh, come on. I have the Sugar Cosmetics Contour Deforce Mini Bronzer in O2 Woody Wonder. Mine came broken, but it is a really pretty shade. It's not orangey or anything, and it blends really nicely. So I'm going to keep that. And it's just a mini, so it won't take me as long to go through it. And then I have a Too Faced bronzer in, this is their Chocolate Soleil bronzer in medium deep. I'm gonna keep this. And on that same note, this NYX bronzing powder is a dupe for that. I'm gonna get rid of the NYX just because I am keeping the Too Faced. This is the Milani bronzer in 06 medium tan. I'm just gonna get rid of this. This is a Rimmel natural bronzer. I, again, am in the process of using this up. It is a really pretty shade. It is blends really nicely and looks really good. So we're gonna keep that one. This Morphe one in Debutante is way too dark for my skin, so we're just gonna get rid of that. And then I have three Wet n Wild bronzers, and I can tell you right off the bat, these two, which are You're Dragging Me Down and Queen's Landing are too dark for my skin tone. They just look like this. They're really nice and blend nice. I've never used them just because they are too dark for my skin tone. But then I have this one in Bronze Dynasty, and I'm going to keep this one. This one is the one that matches my skin tone the best. So we're going to keep that. So I didn't do two, like I said, I did not do very well in the bronzer category because I only got rid of five, which is not a lot, but I, a lot of these I'm trying to use up, and like this is a backup, my physician's one in the butter bronzer, and this one, and this one I'm just trying to use up. So I don't have terribly too many bronzers. So we're keeping all of those. Next, I just have three like face product, like um, palettes. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Fair. This is the only cream contour I have, so I'm definitely keeping this. And then I have this Pure Bronze and Brighten Dreamer Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. It's got a blushing glow, an afterglow, and a mineral glow. They're all shimmery. They're all really nice and really pretty. And they blend like butter. 
this highlighter is gorgeous like oh my gosh can you see that and but this bronzer is really really dark and it's shimmery this blush is really pretty just not necessarily my go-to shade i'm just gonna get rid of this it's super pretty though but someone with deeper skin would like this more and then i have the tarte park Ave princess what is this the chisel palette um i really don't use this ever but it is the only one i have so i think i'm gonna keep this just because i do do other people's makeup and if they want a contour this would be perfect for different skin tones i just don't personally use it on myself this is everything that we're getting rid of out of all the blush and bronzers and palettes i think this is a decent amount i didn't ex i went into this not expecting to get rid of very much but i did get rid of quite a bit so i'm super happy with this if you guys didn't Joy declutters let me know down below let me know what you want to see declutter next and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoy can't wait to see you in the next one bye